yeah, the, the reaction of the players, obviously, uh, the, the ones who felt it the most are the, are the staff, because it was more our generation that saw Diego play on the field. Um, most, of the, most of the players over here didn't watch him play when he was playing. They, they see videos and stuff, but uh, they've known uh, another Diego, more, more, more the Diego that, uh, that uh, wasn't playing anymore. Uh, but still, it's a, it's a big figure in a country, and uh, and, and, it, and it epitomized a, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, the, the way the, the, the Argentinians are. But um, we try to uh, remember him the best way possible, which was on the field, representing these colors, and uh, and well, he was an example of how uh, how you should play for this jersey. Did you cross paths with him in? The last 20, 25 years, did you did you meet him at all? What were your impressions of him if, if you did? Yeah, yeah, he came um, he came to one of our, of our well, he, he he came to many games, but uh, he he came once to uh, to the changing room after the game. To uh, it was uh, it was against the All Blacks in uh, River Plate, the one we lost on the on the last ball, and he was there. Um, and then a lot of the guys over here know him from the two, 2015 World Cup. Where he went to the changing room and he spent some time with them, um, and then I, I crossed, I crossed him or met him or bumped into him a couple of times, but not many. Uh, and he had a, yeah, uh, an attraction, like the the world stopped when when he was there. He was, yeah, it was like magic. I was gonna say, yeah, is what you see, with all the documentaries about him, is is what you see in those his larger than life characters. Is that what he's like when you? Get to um, just to to anecdot anecdotically, um, we were playing against the All Blacks, and the and the, 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 the game was starting, and then Diego came out, and uh, he went that typical Diego way, and the, everything stopped. Like the ref didn't start the game, and uh, we all Argentinians were looking up, and Diego was there, and we saw the, the All Blacks looking at Diego, and uh, just just the world stopped. Um, I was going to say, um, he's well known for being quite a passionate Pumas fan. Was that, you know, is that something special to know that someone of such an esteem in your country is, is really passionate about what you guys do? Yeah, and, and, he, and, and to be fair, he was passionate of every team. Like he would go and watch tennis, hockey, rugby, football, everything, everything. Whenever there was a, an Argentinian jersey who was there and... Uh, and like I said before, he was an example of how to represent that jersey on the field. And uh, uh, whenever he was uh, the number one player on the world, and he would be any part of the world, and he would cross the whole continent or whatever he, he should cross to get back and play for the for the Argentinian jersey, being injured, not injured. In the 1990 World Cup, he was injured the whole, and he was infiltrating his ankle, and he, he was still performing when he shouldn't have played, really. Do you have any idea if he would have seen your win over the All Blacks a few weeks ago? Don't know. <laughs> Don't know. I hope for him. I hope for him because uh, the last couple of months have been really difficult for him, and he's he's been switching switching off like slowly, and uh, we everybody felt it was coming. So if we could um, made him happy just a little bit, uh, it would be great. Uh, Mario, Senor, um, <laughs> you go to bed at night, and the world is normal. You awake in the morning, and for Argentina, the world must seem upside down. How did your heart speak to you when you heard the news? Uh, from Diego, well, obviously, I had a uh, hundred messages, uh, and uh, yeah, again, for our generation, it's uh, it's it's a, it's a symbol. It's it's very iconic, and uh, we have really really nice memories. I remember. Being, being in seventh grade when the, the 86 uh, World Cup was going on and we, uh, obviously we were happy because we, we didn't go to school or sometimes we were at school but we could watch the games and we would go to the, um, to the, 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 the main square in our town to the, all together and, and he united people in Argentina and um, where in, in Argentina sometimes it's difficult to unite people uh, especially who think different. I don't know if, uh, if, if, uh, if you can understand what I mean, but um, yeah, he was somebody that, that, that united uh, in many ways, sometimes in, 
in a bad way uh, or in a good way. So we were for everybody was for him or against him, but uh, he was uh, unanimous, um, and he gave a lot of uh, happiness to a lot of people in, in difficult times. And obviously, he's somebody that came from very little, and he became the king of of the world almost. So that gives hope for a lot of uh, Argentinians that struggle and and. Uh, I think that that could be possible for them too. So much is said about the hand of God. Do you think on Saturday perhaps the hand of Maradona maybe would be <laughs> I hope. I hope. Why not? Why not? Um, uh, again, he, he loved the Pumas, so uh, he'll he'll be he'll he'll be watching. He'll be watching for sure. Will, will uh, Sanchez wear the number ten jersey? Or will you? Do you have something special planned for the number ten jersey on match day? No, if, if we if we're doing something, we do it. Everybody's doing the, the, the same thing. We're not gonna let one one of the guys wear wear the, the whole thing. So yeah, no, we we definitely gonna do something for in in his remembrance. But uh, we're all gonna do it.